Okay, so what you're looking at here is the Creality CR10S5. Uh, this is their, their big guy that they make. And this is the 500 by 500 by 500 millimeter print bed space. And I got this through tinymachines3d.com. And uh, Chris is the lead contact over there. And uh, been very, very, very helpful in the process of getting this to me. Um, so uh, a couple things that I've done to this. I mean, it's huge, first of all, if you can't tell. Um, so it's just monstrous. But I uh, got the digital controller, uh, Canovo digital controller uh, upgrade kit that they offer. And uh, the original print bed space, uh, excuse me, the heat bed that comes with the printer is 300 by 300. So I wanted uh, the print bed to go all the way to the edges of the print bed space. So I got their upgrade kit, digital controller, awesome. Uh, it heats up to 60 degrees Celsius and like... 10 minutes or less like it's awesome it's really I'm really impressed by it uh, a couple other things I've done little stuff nothing crazy uh, I'm not going to turn this into a Frankenstein machine um, wide belt tensioner I thought I thought it was essential I couldn't essential I couldn't get it to tighten with the regular system that was on it that it came with and then just a simple uh, z-axis slider bracket here so this is really a helpful because I got the uh, quarter inch glass here instead of what came with the printer and it helps out with um, um, with, you know, with leveling um, and then the back here this recently got put out on um, thingiverse a, br a bracket just to stabilize the back motor and that's maybe not necessary but I, it gives me a little bit more peace of mind um, so again quarter inch glass here um, right in the center you can't really see it or maybe you can uh, kind of can right there um, there's about nine or ten pieces of uh, masking tape uh, layered there just to kind of prop up the center because there is a little bit of a concave bow uh, no matter what you do so because um, the supports are out here wide and kind of kind of bends a little bit in the center there so I was uh, suge it was suggested to me to prop up the center there um, with, with maybe some two inch by two inch pieces of tape so I did that until uh, I was able to level the bed uh, all the way across and what I don't have here printing which I just finished printing was this cat that comes with the suit with the printer um, and it is just awesome love it great detail very 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 impressed uh, I just need to do a little bit tweaking just a little bit we got a little bit of a skip right there so that's my error that's not the printer I got to figure out my settings and dial that in but overall this just came out fantastic this texture here is on purpose that's in the that's in the design of the of the STL file I mean it's just that quality is awesome it was suggested to me that maybe I lower my temperature a little bit from 210 to 205 to maybe I don't know, somebody said that it looked a little shiny, so I said, okay, I'll lower the temperature, maybe keep it from melting a little bit know, as much. Great bed adhesion, awesome. Great detail. Very, very happy, very impressed by this printer. Um, I'm just, if anyone's curious, I'm just using this the latest version of Kira. Of course, my screen goes blank. Uh, latest version of Kira. You know, I'm fairly new to 3D printing, and so... Um, this is this is pretty incredible uh, initially I had the printer up on this Ikea this huge Ikea coffee table and I did a, a cat print um, and it, it, it skipped a few times significantly and I thought well yeah this thing was rocking back and forth like crazy and I was like well maybe maybe that contributed to the um, to the skipping you know the extra energy of that bed going back and forth and that thing wobbling all over the place so I figured I maybe just put the printer on the floor and maybe see how that does and it it helps significantly uh, so I'm very I'm happy with the test now I just need to dial it in just a little bit more somehow to uh, get that little tweaking out of, so it doesn't do that skipping on the ear um, I got the printer because it's uh it's huge and I have a prototype of a, an item I'm, I'm looking to develop and um, you know I could go on a 
3dhubs.com and, and have some and contract somebody else to do those parts but it would cost anywhere from 800 to a thousand dollars for one set and that would just be it if i needed another set that would be another 800 to a thousand dollars and i thought well this printer's come out and there's lots of good reviews on it and stuff and and at least the smaller versions of the printer and i thought well you know the printer's roughly a thousand i did a couple upgrades to it so it's a little bit more than that for me but uh personally but you know if it's roughly a thousand dollars then hey then I, I could print my own parts, and then if I need a new set of parts, I already have the printer. I just basically just film it in time. So um, it's worth the experiment and the risk for me. And so, I mean, but so far with with the uh, how this has turned out, um, it's only going to get better from here. Like, I'm extremely happy with it. And, uh, again, I got this from tinymachines3d.com. Um and so check out the website and uh, I get no compensation whatsoever for doing this video this is there's no kind of feedback for me this is just uh, I'm just a happy customer and uh, thrilled with all the uh, customer service that I've been provided and uh, to get this thing up and running and going and uh, so that's that that's my piece on that but uh, so here it is Creality S uh, CR10 S5 looking good super stoked all right, see ya.